we understand that scientists are actively looking to drive new discoveries. People have been working with cryo-electron microscopy for a number of years, but it's really um, started a revolution in the scientific community with cryo-EM, especially with single particle technique. You're actually looking at the same molecule from multiple different conformations. And it's actually an interesting area where scientists are starting to apply deep learning and machine learning. Regions are pulling resources together to purchase these, the latest microscopes, which is exciting, but they're not thinking about what's the HPC infrastructure required to process the data. And this is one of the things where I think Intel Scalable System Framework will really help. We've worked closely with each of the different OEMs, so you can work with your vendor of choice. One of the things that cryo um, electron microscopy is so interesting is that it enables us to um, visualize proteins almost near the uh, atomic level. And that opens up um, capabilities that simply weren't possible before. So they say um, structure is function. If we can visualize a protein um, near the atomic level, we can see exactly how it's interacting with a membrane, or we can look at a virus and see how it's behaving and then design drug targets that might um, interfere with those proteins. What makes me get up in the morning, uh, it's really working with um, the scientists. And one of the things that I really find um, amazing about this job is um, understanding what are the what are the really big barriers that are holding back science and are there ways that Intel can work with the industry with with the open source community with uh, you know commercial uh, partners um, around the world to over overcome those big challenges the fact that we've taken out a lot of the complexity in um, engineering these um, these cluster reference designs should make it much easier for you to scale as you um, grow over the next couple of years.